What's up, folks? Welcome back to Mad Jeff's Production Lab. Um, today I'm going to show you a quick little uh, video using the AC7 Core uh, app for iPad that lets me control my faders and uh, do uh, have transport control, uh, record, fast forward, rewind, etc. Uh, all from my iPad, which is uh, which is pretty cool. If you look around my project studio, you notice that the one thing that I don't have is a uh, is a, any sort of controller that controls hardware faders. And when I'm working with synths and, and a multitude of tracks, that becomes real important to me. So that's why I mean I want to introduce you if you haven't already seen this app, uh, the AC7 Core. It's basically a software version of a Mackie control. Now, as you can see right now, it's set up to do nothing at all. So I'm gonna walk you through the configuration process. I've got Studio One here going. I've just created a couple tracks and then I've got a synth that I've been programming on one of my instrument tracks that I'll use for demonstration purposes when it's time to record. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to make sure that when I go to Studio Preferences, and this is the same for Logic or whoever, whatever software I'm using, uh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to tell it I got to create my controllers, and that's very important with software. You got to tell the machine where your control is coming from. In this case here, this will be my hardware controller. This is my X Station 49. And that's the controller saying that my keyboard is allowed to send information into Studio One from this the USB connection of my keyboard. Okay, so in addition to that, I've also added a device. And one of the devices I've added is a Mackie control. Because I know that this app emulates the Mackie software. I've got to create a, 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 a something on my end, on my computer's end, that will speak to the app and expect um, information to be transferred just the same way as if you're using a hardware controller okay so I've in, I've created an instance of the Mackie control and when I double click it I get some options from where I want to receive information from my X station or uh, from my network and so over my wireless network I've created uh, a new session and I'll show you that in a second called Studio One so I'm going to be taking a C from Studio One and a send to Studio One. Okay, there it is. And that's all set. So, but then I'm going to switch over to another application really quick. And that application is the Audio MIDI setup. Comes with every Mac OS system. Okay. And if you take a look at this, let's close this one up for a second. Because I know you see, you'll see my X station that I've added. I've got a guitar pedal here that I, that I use for various things. But no network functions are available until you double click on the network icon once you've done that you see I've got these sessions that came up right and these sessions are related to the network configuration of my Mackie control through Studio One that's my network session there it is send to receive from and now I want to introduce a device Jeff Taylor here is my iPad all right so when I select it here, and it's picking it up because this is connected to the Wi-Fi network, okay? I've connected this to the Wi-Fi network, my computer's on the network, and any other PC or any other computer that I have on the network is available in my directory of possible connections, all right? Because they're on the Wi-Fi network. When I click my iPad here and click Connect, shows up as a participant, enabled. Studio One is the local name of the session. And again, just to make sure my routings are correct, I have the same option here of telling it take information from the Studio One connection and send to the Studio One connection. All right. Once I've done that, I click OK. I can get out of here. I don't need it. I'm just going to switch back over to Studio One. And when I do that now, I should have control now of my master fader, as you can see, and of the individual faders for the separate tracks. Okay. I've got all my functionality play. Rewind, chord, just to show you that, let's go back here and see what I've recorded, becomes a volume change of the master.
Okay. You've probably seen this software before. If you haven't, here's an introduction to it. This is the AC7 Core. You can download this from the App Store, or you can go visit their website, which is uh, right here. Okay. The mold select button will let you choose different software packages from Audition to Final Cut Pro, Logic, of course, Pro Tools. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty deep. Cubase, Sonar, Reaper, Ableton Live reason it's pretty simple straightforward it gives me fader control from any room in the house I'm gonna use this in situations where I want to record my guitar in a separate room or I want to sing vocals in a different room I'm gonna use this app this app is gonna enable me to do that uh, remotely and also when I'm mixing I've got the ability now to also to bank between the groups of tracks that I might have available so if I've got eight here it's just like the Mackie control any other controller I can bank through those and be hands-on with the mouse because that, that can be a drag sometimes, quite literally, I mean. All right, so that's it. Quick video for a, a remote control um, device in your studio, a controller that allows you to basically run your session in real time from a remote location. There you have it. And hit me up with feedback and, and questions you might have, and I'll do my best to respond to those. All right. That's it for now. Mad Jeff is out. Peace. I'll see you next time.